St. Louis medical researchers are worried another opioid crisis may be developing because a growing number of doctors are prescribing painkillers to COVID long haulers. News 11 medical reporter Dan Gray is at the Washington University School of Medicine to break it down. Dan. Yeah, a Washington University School of Medicine Veterans Administration study is showing that they are encouraging doctors to seek treatments other than opioids for COVID long haul patients. This may cascade down to be a bigger crisis or another opioid epidemic down the road. Lead researcher Dr. Zayad Alali of Washington University and the Veterans Administration says the study showed that COVID long haulers were taking more opioids to manage pain than other VA patients. And we were you know, hoping that opioid prescriptions were going down nationwide and they were before the pandemic hit. And now we see that with long COVID, you know, some people are coming back with pain and are being prescribed opioids. That sort of raises some, you know, alarm bells for us. A long hauler is a patient whose symptoms last weeks, even months. I still exhibit the brain fog. Mary Coleman of St. Charles County is a COVID long hauler. She does not use opioids. Mary tested positive in January after her father died of COVID. She still has symptoms, including extreme fatigue. Can you imagine if everybody that has been diagnosed with COVID and six or eight or nine months later are still dealing with symptoms and then you give them the opportunity to take opioids to address some of their issues? It's just such a slippery slope. Dr. Alali says opioids should be used as a last resort and at a low dose for a short period of time. He says there are effective alternatives. Long COVID is real. That pain is real and must be treated. However, it should really be treated with perhaps non-steroidals. We see that some, some patients actually are responding favorably to non-steroidals. There are other options, including Tylenol and pace physical therapy, some form of physical therapy that's tailored specifically to long COVID patients. I would hope that the doctor can collectively come up with a, a path forward. You, you have to give us uh, some hope that these symptoms are not going to be with you forever. Dr. Alali says more than 3 million of the 31 million Americans infected with COVID have long-term symptoms. In the Central West End at Washington University School of Medicine, Dan Gray, News 11.